Hi, it's Cindy Lee. And have you missed me? <laughs> yes, I have been off doing lives for a while because you know I had this eye surgery. No, I didn't have an eye lift because you can tell I still have hooded eyes, but I had to have a little procedure to scrape some bumps off my eyes. And it took a little bit longer to heal than I thought. So you have only seen me in mascara or maybe some eyeliner because I haven't had eyeshadows on in months. Well, today, ladies, I am going to be showing you what to do if you wonder about the perfect eye shadow and some tips for our hooded eyes if you have aging eyes a little bit like me. So first of all, I want to show you, look at this cute little bag. This is the perfect four color eye palette that Limelight offers and I got this one for hazel eyes. You can get them for blue eyes, for green eyes, for brown eyes, for hazel eyes. What does it do for you? Well, it takes all the guesswork out of what color shadows are going to best to bring out your eyes. So it comes with, I'll show you all these little, it's like palettes in here with the individual eye colors because you know when you buy one shadow, you can buy one, you can buy them in a four palette, such as this one, which is the perfect colors for hazel eyes. Now I love this because I do love putting a little bit of purple eyeshadow on my eyes. I really do think that it brings out an eye color. So I did start by, I do have a little bit of concealer. I always use concealer zero, which is very, very light, just to brighten up the tops of my eyes. So if you can look at that, I'll show you right here with my foundation palette. This is the color right here that I use. Yep. So I just took a um, firmer brush, it's like this is it, and I just massage that into my eyes. So that's all I've done to get started. Besides having my skincare on, I don't have on foundation. Now why is that that I'm doing my eyes without foundation? Because a pro tip for you is if you do your eyeshadow first, you have less cleanup underneath. So if you have any of those shadows that get down on the bottom, you can just take a makeup wipe or clean it and you'll be able to clean that up easily than when you put it on your foundation first so that if you had any fall off, it would actually go into your foundation. So I am going to start with this palette. I really love using a little bit of an angle brush. And you can see this, a little bit of an angle. And I like to start with my lighter color. I always kind of go back to it. I put that in my color. I always tap off so that if you have any excess, it has less flaking. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner and right underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna actually just do one at a time so that you can kind of see. I'll go back and forth until um, I get just exactly the look I want. Now, one of the things that I like, I like to go to a little bit darker shade on the lid of my eyes. And I like using a flat brush. You can see how much I have. Again, tap it off. And I kind of, it's like bounce it doing a pressing. I'm going to, it's like blend everything a little bit into my eyes. But to set the product on my eyes, I like just tapping it. This is so finely milled and it's so high pigmented. You've heard me talk about our products and how pigmented they are. So you need just a smidget of everything that you're going to do. And this one has a little bit of a sheen in it. I'm gonna to go to this matte, darker shade again. I like this as a little bit more of a tapered brush because I'm going to set some in here and then I'm going to go about my crease of my eye. Now my eyes are hooded and so I try to stay as close to the eyelid as I can when I'm putting these on. Darker shade to the outside, lighter shades on the inside. And the one thing I can say if there's a tip, just blend, 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 blend. You probably can never blend too much. And I like a very light color. So I am now going to do on the um, second eye. I like a more natural. I'm not going to put too much makeup on. I am going out, I'm pretty excited. Gonna check out this new restaurant. Uh, my husband and I are meeting up with his brother and his wife. Oh my gosh, they are so much fun. You know, I'm just very blessed because you know how when you marry in, you get all of the family and they're just amazing. All of my husband's family. I love spending time with each and every one of them. Mm -hmm. So 
So again, I'm not gonna do too much of my blending yet. And the third color always goes into the outer corner. Blending, blending, blending. And I'm gonna pull up a magnifier here because for me, I definitely need a magnifier on my eyes or magnifying mirror. So I'm gonna set my eye palettes aside. I'm going to grab, now this actual magnifier, I love it because it comes with the lip mirror that I'm using, my Reiki. So it really helps me be sure that I'm getting all my colors blended together. Going back and forth a little bit. And sure, some of you may say, oh, Cindy, you should have gotten my left when you were doing all that work on your eyes. And maybe I should have, but you know what? I'm all about, I'm okay. I love life. And as I age, I just want to look the best that I can look for my age. And so that's why I like to talk about pro-aging. <laughs> pro-aging means I'm embracing it. I'm making the most of it. And I'm going to be sure that I love every minute because life throws you all sorts of different things, right? Gives you a little, um, just trying to look at this real quick here. A little bit more. Now, if you remember, this is the one that I really like to take into my creases. Now you can go up a little bit more. Oops, get back into the mirror, right? I'll hold this down so that I don't. So that's just three eye, eye shadows from the four well that I have, but I really love that I think it makes my eyes just a little bit greener. Now, um, if I have any eyeshadow that's actually fallen out, I can just wipe that because I don't have any foundation now. But before, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with some of my eyes because one of the things that I feel, I'm gonna find it here, that I love, I love using eyeliner. And I love this gel pencil for my eyeliner because as my eyes are hooded, I wanna give as much space to this part of my eye that makes my eye look a little bit bigger. So when I do this, I actually go under I'm going to quit talking to you while I do this. I don't always come over on the bottom part of my eye, but I'm going to do that for you tonight. So look at what this is already doing to my eye. It's making it a little bit more pronounced be able to bring that little tail. I always take it a little bit up at that point. See the difference? How much more noticeable this eye is than this eye? So now I'm gonna take this on my other eye. Again, under my lashes, because it's helping my lashes look thicker, even though I haven't, they're thinner. I haven't done anything with them yet. I'm put a little bit in that bottom lash line. I'm gonna take that just a little bit up. Now you can, if you like more dramatic, you can actually add a little bit to the upper lashes. If you use a liquid eyeliner, there's great liquid eyeliners, but look at the difference in my eyes now that I have a little bit of eyeliner on there. Huge, huge difference. And if you can look, you can also see of how gray my brows are getting, they're thinner. So I love this incredible little pencil. And I'm going to comb up my brow line. I love that it has a little spoolie attached right here to it. And then this is such a fine tip. What I love about this is you can spin it up and when you put your pencil in, it's gonna sharpen it, right? So you're gonna have this nice little tip. And again, I'm gonna grab my magnifier. You can see I'm going to go in the stroke of how a hair would grow. Oh, an eyebrow hair would grow. And I always like to go on the top to bring a little bit more arch into it. Again, keeping away from this part of the eye to make my eye look just a little bit bigger when I'm doing it. Making sure I'm getting all of the 
spots where it's a little bit thinner. Now, what am I doing? You can see the difference, can't you already? between the two eyebrows. Now, the reason for doing this is it's going to, it's like mirror the shadow of a hair. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, it's so funny because I was plucking my eyebrows today and I hadn't done that in a while because you know I've had trouble seeing. It's like, dang, it looked like I had almost a unibrow going across there where they were. Now, see how much more noticeable my eyes are now that I have added that mascara. Now I'm just going to go a little bit further with you. I'm going to put on some foundation now because I haven't. Yes, I've been in Florida. I've been in Arizona. I've been back home. And so my skin is just a little bit darker, though I never got a sunburn ever because I love our amazing sunscreen. But I have worked to try to figure out exactly which shadow um, or excuse me, which foundation is the best foundation for me now that I am a little bit darker. And I like using my Blenderful. Now I'm just going to, now I'm not going to do any concealer, though I do have a little bit of darkness under my eye. And what I want you to notice on my face as I'm putting this on is how it's really, I'll just try to do one half. It's really just going to even up my skin tone. Now again, I'm still kind of working on which color. Went up a couple different shades because I was outside so much. But I love this little healthy color I have going on for me. Uh huh. So sometimes even as you um, go up, if you're out in the sun, you may even switch over for more of a a yellow base to a red base, but what you always want to do is you want to match your neck. Particularly, you want to match this part so you don't look like you have one of those floating heads that happens. Yeah, and I'm just going to bring this down a little bit onto my chest, especially in the summer when we're going to have sleeveless tops or a v-net top. You're going to have more of that with your face. Now again, this is really light. What I love about this Blenderful is that you can press and roll. And particularly when I'm working on my nose, now I don't know about you, but my pores have gotten bigger, so it's really works well to press that into my nose area. Now see the difference? Such a nice even tone. Okay, so now I'm gonna go about quick doing the other side. Mirror that up. Again, I'm doing a little bit of a bouncy motion to just spread some on. I'm going to show you real quick how you could also do a foundation brush. If you're a brush person, depending on what tool you use is going to talk about the um, heaviness of your application. If you want a really light application, if you want a heavier full coverage kind of feel to your skin, um, like you can use this great brush very light coverage if you're going to do that. Um, yeah, the diffuser brush. I'm going to try to bounce this around, blend this all together. Let me just grab my mirror up here a little bit because I have another couple of tips for you on your eyes, or excuse me, on your face and on your foundation. Now, I think this is the most the best foundation ever for anybody who's got a few laugh lines. Yep, I got some of those. I got some wrinkles up above my lip. Yep, again, pro-aging, I just want to look my best. And actually what's funny is if you know, yeah, look at that gray hair. Don't I need to get into my Carissa? Yeah, she'll just work miracles when I get in there. Hopefully next week. So there I have a more complete coverage. It's like on my... Face. I'm going to look at my little magnifier to make sure that I've covered up. I like a very light coverage. Now, what I like to do, so if you have any fine lines, listen closely. I like to take this finishing spray. Now, I like a little bit of a sheen because you know these young girls, they've got that beautiful glowing skin. Now, what am I doing this for? Why am I tapping this? I sprayed a little bit of finishing spray right here on my wrist. And I'm going through this tapping motion. Why? To keep anything from settling, before I use my powder on my face, this is what actually helps me settle things 
keeps things from settling in my fine lines. So if you're having trouble with your foundation, and yours is actually, yeah, look, I broke off that fingernail. Isn't that terrible? It hurt, too, because I bent it all the way back. And now I'm going to go down here on my upper lip because I have fine lines there. Sometimes the creases of my nose, depending on if it's hot or whatever. So I want to be sure that my foundation is going to stay in place. And when I put my powder on, it gives it something to adhere to. So I've done that tapping motion. So I've added just a little bit in there. So that's a really good uh, technique for you to use if your foundation does have a tendency to settle into your fine, fine lines, right? I also then just take this and I do a little bit, a little bit of a mist. Probably did a little bit more because you're all watching me. <laughs> yep. Okay, so you're going to put that little fine mist. It's like I'm going to let that set and I've done my eyebrows, and if you like a gel, there's also, I'll show you the difference with the, maybe I won't show you. Now, I just use the pencil, but some people like a gel, so I'm just gonna really quick show you this eye gel, why that's setting. So, you can just comb your hairs up. You know how some of the folks have that look where their brows look a little bit more wild? You can see how I'm just kind of taking those up, doing that. If you're only using a gel, then you'd be able to do this and you'd be able to shape that same type of eye. I like mine just a little bit more um, set. So I'm going to take those top hairs and I'm going to bring it down. So whether you like a brow pencil or a brow gel, great thing to do, but you need you want to be able to do something with your eyebrows because they're going to frame your eye. Now, my eyes are very, very, my lashes, I should say, are very, very um, thin, getting thinner. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of a eyelash curler. I'm gonna take a minute to just, it's like try to bring those up. Now some people will try to go like this, kind of squeezing it this motion, going to the end of your, your um, eyelashes. Ladies, my eyelashes aren't long enough for that. So I'm just gonna put a little crimp on them before I put some lashes, um, mascara on those. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of blush. Where's that little brush? Yep, yep, yep. So let's see, how many add this color? Now again, our blushes are so pigmented. I don't know if you can see that, I got way too much on there. So I'll try to tap a little bit of it off. So I'm going to try to go right below that brow bone. I do a little tapping motion where I try to spread some of that out on both sides of my lips. I really like to have a little bit of blush color because I think it makes me look more healthy, glowy. I should have taken a picture before I started, right? So you could see how a natural look but can give you a great glow. Now you could do bronzer, some people like bronzer. If you do bronzer, you wanna do it into this dip part. I'm actually not gonna do any bronzer today because again, I just want a very light look. I'll go from there. I'm gonna go back and do my mascara. And let's see. Yeah, I'm rattling around in here. I'm gonna do my waterproof mascara. Don't really need that today, but I don't have my other mascara with me. I love our both of our mascaras. Oh, where's my little magnifier? Dang, I need to always have a magnifier close by. So I like to take a little bit of a zigzaggy motion up to the end. This is one of our top selling products, but you know, so find the mascara that works for you. Can you see the difference between my two eyes? Yeah, just one coat, one coat of this mascara. Come over here and see how much is still left on my brush. Now this is very, very buildable. It's a fine fiber. Whoop. Touch that on the inside of my nose. I'll get a little Q-tip and get that off later. can also do a blinking motion. But look, look how my eyes are really standing out. And that's the feature that you really want people to draw attention to, 
are your eyes. And I am so glad I can add a little bit of color now. Now, if I thought I needed to adjust a little bit, you can come back in here and move that up. Now, lips. I'm just telling you, ladies, another thing that happens to us as we age, is one of your side of your lip a little thinner than the other. They're thinner lips than you want. Look at this. This one's definitely thinner on that side. So I have this um, darker lip liner, and I'm going to actually take this and draw I can do that. So now on this side, to help it be plumper, I'm going to do kind of a little bit of a horseshoe motion. So Got a little bit more than I wanted there, so I'll just wipe that off. But see how doing that little loopy motion I was showing you? How I'm able to fill that lip up. Now, the color of lipstick I'm going to wear, because I'm going to do a pop of color on my lips tonight. I really love this. It's called Cake Pop. Probably one of my favorite. So I got out of mirror for a little bit. It's like, but it's helped with the shape and the fullness of my lips. So mascara, lips, makeup. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to go work on my hair. So those are my tips for you for today. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, if life give you lines, be the light.